the 2019 novel coronavirus is a global health emergency. We must all act together now to limit further spread. Since they began using the designation in 2005, the World Health Organization has declared global health emergencies only five times before. The first case was reported in the Chinese city of Wuhan on New Year's Eve. Now, over 30,000 people in at least 26 countries have contracted the coronavirus. The vast majority of confirmed cases are in mainland China, where the numbers continue to skyrocket, and where more than 600 people have died as a result. Border closings, suspended flights, a citywide evacuation and quarantine, it's scary stuff. So what is it we're really talking about when we talk about the coronavirus? And what can we do to protect ourselves? Common signs of a coronavirus infection include fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. In more severe cases, it can lead to pneumonia, kidney failure, and even death. Coronaviruses are a family of virus that cause the common cold and are named for the spike proteins on the surface that make it look like a crown or a star. They are also zoonotic, meaning that they are transmitted between animals and people. While the exact source of this new coronavirus is unknown, there's pretty strong evidence that it originated from bats. Recent data confirms that bats harbor a significantly higher proportion of zoonotic viruses than all other mammalian orders. Still, this doesn't necessarily mean that patient zero in Wuhan ate a bat, as has been alleged, or was even in contact with one. And that's because the jump coronaviruses make from bats to humans typically occurs through an intermediate animal. With SARS, it was a cat-like mammal called a civet. With mares, it was camels. Coronaviruses like these are thought to be transmitted via respiratory droplets, contact with infected secretions, and fecal matter. So is wearing masks the answer? According to experts, yes, if you're feeling unwell. The World Health Organization says their unnecessary usage can lead to a mask shortage for those who really need them during an outbreak. Masks can also offer a false sense of security, causing people to forget about the rest of the steps they need to take, which are actually pretty straightforward. Wash your hands with soap and water frequently, even if they aren't visibly dirty, and cover your nose and mouth when you cough or sneeze, with a tissue or your arm, and not your clean hands. This new strain of coronavirus isn't necessarily a death sentence. People can and do recover from it, but being vigilant about hygiene can certainly help stop its spread.